maintain their equipment. It's a huge deal for us. So you have the university impact, uh, you have public safety law enforcement, and then obviously the wider and broader community has a huge interest in this facility. And, and frankly, we can't wait for it to get going. Uh, we're excited to get this project started. Started, started, started. Well, the, the amazing part about the rifle program is uh, it's, it's one of our few teams that uh, is in the hunt for a national championship every year, right? I mean, as good as some of our teams are and as competitive as they are, we're talking about NCA championship with the rifle program and what they do with their current facilities is just astounding. It's just absolutely amazing. We're talking about NCA championship with the rifle program. We're talking about NCA championship with the rifle program. We're talking about NCA championship with the rifle program. It's one of our few teams that uh, is in the hunt for a national championship every year. Championship every year. Championship every year. Good day. My name is Kobe Sakamoto. I am the team manager for the University of Nevada Reno's rifle program. Today, we would like to share a message with you. But first, to give this video some context, I will read to you a brief summary of some of the events that have unfolded over the past six months. On December 15, 2018, the rifle team received the devastating news that after the 2018 to 2019 season, the University of Nevada Reno's rifle program would be discontinued. The entire team was stunned and heartbroken by this unexpected announcement made during the middle of final exams, as there was no prior indication that terminating the program was even being considered. According to Doug Newth, UNR's athletic director, the cancellation of the rifle team was a move by the university to better align itself with the Mountain West Athletic Conference, as rifle is not a sponsored Mountain West sport. In later meetings with Doug Newth, we would discover that being more fully aligned with the Mountain West Conference would not result in any benefit to the university in terms of money or student scholarships. Simply stated, being more fully aligned with the Mountain West is a title and only a title. We will also find out that the plans to cancel the rifle program have been known to the athletic director for some time, possibly longer than five years. This information was withheld from the student athletes and from head coach Fred Harvey until December 15, 2018. I must also mention that the UNR rifle team is almost entirely self-funded, mostly from private donors and from Coach Harvey, who generously donates his entire coaching salary to the team. I have attached a link in the video description to a file from Coach Harvey that outlines the actual cost of operations for our team. After recovering from the shocking news that our team was to be disbanded, each of our members was faced with the difficult decision of what they should do next. For some of us, this decision would mean transferring to another university. For others, it would mean finishing our schooling without participating in the sport, which was the primary reason for our attendance at UNR. For many of us, this decision would also mean a complete loss of an investment in time, years of classes taken at the university, and money spent on equipment and training. Despite being disbanded in the middle of the season, the UNR rifle team still managed to finish strong by winning its conference championship in the Patriot Rifle Conference and sending two of its members to represent the university in the NCAA Rifle National Championships in West Virginia. Our team captain, Mitchell Van Patten, won the title of Patriot Rifle Individual Champion for Air Rifle and received All-American awards from the NRA and Collegiate Rifle Coaches Association. As of today, May 21st, 2019, the 2018 to 2019 school year is officially over, and Rifle no longer exists as a sponsored NCAA sport at the University of Nevada, Reno. The building our air rifle range was in has been sold, and our equipment put into storage for an indefinite amount of time. 
We have waited until the end of the year to release the following video in order to avoid any retaliation from the school and athletic department. We hope that this video shows to whoever is responsible for disbanding our team that their actions affect real people with real consequences. No one has benefited as a result of this decision. It has only negatively affected the lives of current and future student athletes at UNR. My name is Mitchell Van Patten. I've been competing in rifle for 12 years now total, um, four of which have been in college. This sport is very important to me because it teaches people um, about the safe handling of firearms as well as it provides an opportunity to compete at the highest level uh, possible. Hi, my name is Rachel Benish and my major is public health and I've been competing in rifle for the past seven years. I chose UNR because it gave me the opportunity to shoot at the collegiate level so I could afford to go to a university. My name is Kendra Kissel. I'm an anthropology major, Spanish minor, and I've been shooting for about five years now. What are your thoughts about the team being shut down? The emotions are just so raw that it hurts. I mean, this is not something that I would wish on anybody. It's awful. It hurts so bad. My name's Brianna Citrino. I'm a sophomore here. My major is psychology with an emphasis in behavioral analysis, and I've been competing for about nine years. This sport means a lot to me mostly because you can be anybody and still be able to compete and succeed. Doesn't matter how tall you are, how big you are, who you are, you're welcome. And I think that that's really important for a sport, especially a co-ed one. My name is Rosalie Riemann. I am a secondary agricultural education major here at the University of Nevada, Reno in the Nevada TEACH program. And this will be my 10th year competing in rifle. When they announced to us that they were shutting down the team, I took it pretty hard because so much work had been put into this. I'm just kind of lost now. <laughs> My name is Marette Oxner. Um, I am an English major here at the University of Nevada, and I have been competing in rifle as a sport for 10 years. Getting the news was completely heartbreaking. It didn't just affect me, it affected my entire team and my family. It just, this team and this sport is a huge part of why I was even able to come to college. Um, I don't really have the means to pay for a college education on my own, so the scholarship that I was getting through this team was, was a serious factor in getting my education. And I know that that's kind of typical for this, for this team, for a lot of my other teammates too. My name's Robert White. I'm a research psychology major with a minor in photography, and I've been competing in the shooting sports for 10 years. With the team being shut down, uh, I'm disappointed to say the least. I'm losing at least two years off of my career shooting here for the school and for the foreseeable future I'm likely not going to be able to compete in shooting sports of any kind. My name is Sarah Benish. I'm an English literature major with a minor in communications and I have been shooting for about three years now total. The team being cut uh, is really devastating because it, it's a huge setback to my education and to um, my chances of succeeding in life.
My name is Tio Brody. My major is Agricultural Science, and I've been competing in rifle for 10 years. This uh, sport means just about everything to me because it's the one thing that gave me and my town hope. I come from a town of 600 people in eastern Montana. There's kind of a ideology there where you're never really going to be anything. I've been told that in my time there. I was called crazy when I said I wanted to be on the UNR rifle team. You know, it's Division One. you know. You're not going to make that. You're just some hick from Circle, Montana. I, I set out to prove people wrong, and I did it. The, the sport and the fact that I made it kind of gave a lot of people in my town hope. Now there's a lot more people who are trying to uh, get to, into colleges and get into athletic programs and push themselves to be more than they were. My name is Andrew Pham. Um, I am majoring in biomedical engineering here at the University of Nevada, Reno. And I have been shooting competitively now for seven years. This sport is important to me because over the last seven years it has taught me everything that I know about discipline that is mental and physical. I've, I've just found a lot of value in that. Uh, I've had a lot of time to kind of organize my thoughts about this and so has the rest of the team. As a team, we definitely would have appreciated the heads up. There was no prior indication that it was going to be cut. We, we all got the news at the end of last semester, during finals week, might I add. Hi, my name's Eli Larimer. I'm a junior and uh, I'm wearing these virtual reality goggles because I'm still imagining I have a rifle team. But we don't. I've been shooting for 13 years. Um, I'm a civil engineering major here at UNR. The team being shut down is really unfortunate because I know that other athletes that have looked forward to this for many years won't have the opportunity to shoot at this school. My name is Kobe Sakumoto. My major is machining. I've been competing in rifle since 2012, and I've been the UNR rifle team manager for the last three years. So to me, this team represents the closest thing I have to a family that lives in Nevada. I find it very sad and disturbing that all of its members will suffer because of someone's political agenda. I plan on finishing my degree in machining. I also plan on helping our current student athletes to continue to compete in shooting, whether or not it is with the support of UNR. Maintain their equipment. It's a huge deal for us. So you have the university impact, uh, you have public safety law enforcement, and then obviously the wider and broader community has a huge interest in this facility and, and frankly, we can't wait for it to get going. Uh, we're excited to get this project started. For information on how you can support this effort, please contact Doug Newth at 784-6900. So I remember this video. It was actually released when I was a junior in high school. At that time, I truly believed that the university would be building this world-class shooting facility. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I was very, very interested in becoming a part of this program. It would have been one of very few Olympic-style shooting facilities in the U.S., and it would be the only one of its kind on the western half of the U.S. But if this facility did get constructed, it would have been a huge deal for everyone who is part of this sport, who, who lives on the western half of the U.S. It would have given them the opportunity to compete at a, a world-class facility. Okay, hi, my name is Casey Uemoto. I'm an environmental science Nevada Teach major with a minor in forest management and ecology, and I've been shooting for about 10 or 11 years. I chose to come to UNR because of the rifle team and it was cl kind of closer to home for me so it was a good way for me to kind of expand my horizons and leave my home while also getting to continue in a sport that I've been doing for a lot, most of my life.
Eiffel is really important to me because I've been doing it for a long time. I got introduced to it from my dad um, as a part of his club. And um, I think that it's a really awesome sport because it's co-ed and it is a really cool opportunity for a lot of women to go on to do um, athletic sports in college. Um, it was a really awesome opportunity for me to come here, which is why I think that uh, rifle is so important and probably should not be terminated from um, NCAA sports here at Nevada Reno. The sport is important to me because it's something that I am good at and that I've enjoyed for the past seven years of my life and I've been able to compete with amazing teams and been able to be a part of teams that have been like family to me in high school and college. For me, the hardest part about knowing that I'm not gonna be on a team next year is telling my family, telling my friends, but the worst part's probably gonna be going home and seeing all the kids that I've helped coach and tell them that not only my dreams have stopped, but that they have to adjust their dreams because they wanted to follow my footsteps and come to University of Nevada, Reno. I actually didn't apply to any other school. I have been planning to be a student athlete at the University of Nevada, Reno since I was 12 years old. For me and my sisters, rifle and riding is what we do best. And Nevada is where we have always done it. This sport It's okay. I just don't know what to say right now. Yeah. It's in the hunt for a national championship every year. Yeah. I mean, it's talking about the most future home of the University of Nevada Wolfpack Rifle Team. Yeah. It will yeah, I remember this video. That um, rain sure would have been sweet, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, that was, um, that was part. I took the leap of faith, you know, to come here because of that video, actually. I was, I was certain, well, we're gonna get a new range. Doesn't matter if we got one rough year practice, you know, it's fine. We're gonna get this brand new facility and then we'll just, it'll be great. I believed in him. I think we all did. And he let us down. He let us down. The one thing that people don't really realize about this sport is people get close. People get really close to the point of family. And that's what we have here. And now most of us in another year won't live in the same city. We won't live in the same state. These are people that I planned on having the next three and a half years with. And I love them all like family. They're my brothers and sisters and now I'm not gonna have the opportunity to watch them grow and you know, to share in all my victories and to share in my defeats. You can call it a defeat and shooting. But this is my family and I'm really sad to have to say goodbye to it. Sorry. Uh, this is the month for the national championship of the year, right? I mean, as good as some of our teams are, and as competitive as they are, we're talking about NCAA championship with the rifle program. And what they do with their current facilities is just astounding, it's just absolutely amazing. Law enforcement, and then obviously the wider and broader community has a huge interest in this facility. And frankly, we can't wait for it to get going. We're excited to get this project started.